Hey guys, in this tutorial we'll be covering how to uh, make a realistic supercharger for a car. So, for demonstration we're going to be using the Wardaroo H6 from 4th stage. So what you want to do is open the folder, uh, go into data, and first thing you want to do is uh, open engine.ini. And pretty much what you want to do is uh, copy these values here. And the value, the only values out that I want you to change from here, are these three. Depending on how much, uh, how much boost your supercharger will make. So I have it on the max boost on playing the waste gap 0.5, just because that's about how much I want mine to make. But you can make these higher, or whatever. It'll just. But the important thing is you keep the lag up, lag down, and the reference RPM gamma and whatever exactly like mine displayed here so uh, after you do that what you want to do is uh, you want to have a controlled turbo here if you have to if you don't have one you could steal one from a different car or just make a copy of engine and call it control turbo zero just like I have it uh, set up here and you want to open it up and this is the important part to make it where it acts like a supercharger. Uh, you want to set a controller zero, input equals gas. Instead of, because most control turbos, in, the input equals the RPM, but you want the input to be the gas. And your LUT, you want where no gas equals nothing and floor equals the max of your wastegate, so 0 0.5. Uh, every up limit is one filter is zero point nine nine. All that just make sure you have it copied like I do here. And after that, and that's pretty much all you have to do. It's pretty easy to do. So let's go test it out now and see. Like I said, this is the most realistic way to do it. It's not, I'm, I'm sure it's not absolutely perfect, but it's the closest, in my opinion, than any other method of trying to add in power or whatever. I think this is the most realistic, but if we go here and open up uh, gears where we can see the turbo here. Well, it's turbo, but it's actually a supercharger. Tech. Well, it's technically a turbo, but it's really... Act, it, it performs like a supercharger now so if we do that and then we go to our pedals here you can see the correlation see see how I'm controlling the supercharger with my gas pedal like you would in real life <clears throat> But I made this discovery myself because people were talking about how there was, wasn't a realistic supercharger. And I was just looking at a control turbo. I'm like, can you just make that look at the gas instead of the RPM? And you can, in fact. And I had to change some of the lag and whatever. But I have a set where it performs almost exactly like a supercharger. And I will tell you from field driving it. It feels like an NA, but it's not quite, which I think that's about realistic for a supercharger, so. Anyway, if y'all have any suggestions how to improve it or make it more realistic, I'm always open, because, like I said, I kind of played around and discovered this myself, but hopefully this helps you all when, uh, if you need to make a supercharger for something. And I will try to make more tutorials in the future. I've just been having uh, a lot of personal issues, which I may make a video about why I kind of stopped making tutorials, what happened to my Discord, what happened to my Facebook group, blah, blah, blah. I may make a video eventually, but when I feel ready for it, but just know that uh, 
I'll be trying to dip my feet back into uh, making more tutorials, help you guys out. So just be patient with me. Anyway, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, uh, I wouldn't mind if you hit the like button because it does because it does show that you care. And subscribe if you want to see more tutorials in the future, hopefully. And uh, thanks for watching.